Hello everyone, my name is the Fox. This video is going to be pretty quick, but I just wanted to kind of address the elephant in the room in that there are still no official drivers from AMD for either the Asus ROG Allies Z1e, the AMD Z1e that is currently the only uh, model that ships in this particular platform, or AMD's 7840U, which is available on a few different uh, products right now. Specifically what I have is uh, I've had for a bit now is the GPD Win Max 2 on the 7840U refresh. Then I got an iNeo 2S, which has 7840U. And then I just recently got in uh, GPD's Win 4 refresh, which is 7840U. So here's the deal. Here's what's a little bit weird. Even though I don't have official drivers, I have been getting periodically updated preview drivers for 7840U. So I, th I thought to myself, well, I will just take one of those preview drivers and install it across all the platforms so that I could have a uniform base. However, if I take the Asus ROG Ally and then try to install any 7840U preview driver, it fails. Uh, also, official drivers fail. So the only drivers that'll work for this are the ones that a Asus is providing directly to the, the, to the user, which gets downloaded automatically. All right, so no big deal. I will continue to wait for official drivers for the Z1e. That is kind of a different model. It's still 7840U like, but it's its own thing that AMD is doing. All right, so maybe official support will come down later down the pipe. Now, however, I do have three devices here right now that are AMD's 7840U. So largely, we would think that I could take GPD's latest preview driver that they sent me, and instead of installing that preview driver on a GPD device, I put it on, say, the INEO 2S. However, that doesn't work. When I try to take a preview driver from GV GPD and install it on an INEO 2S, it says, oops, unknown hardware detected. So I can't even install GPD's 7840U driver on INEO's 2S 7840U. Likewise, I can't do that the opposite way. So I can't take my GPD Win 4 or my GPD Win Max 2 7840U, go to the INEO's website, and then install that preview driver on here, their latest one, because that is shown as incompatible hardware. So there's something largely weird going on insofar as 7840U and Z1E, and very specifically RDNA 3 as an IG compo uh, IGPU component on package. This is all kind of leading up to the point that I just recently got in GPD's G1 here. This has the AMD 7600 MXT mobile GPU that's in here. The good news is that I can install the latest 23.71 drivers on here. However, uh, while this is connected to the machine, I can run the 23.71 drivers for this particular hardware, but that means that it will override and try to install 23.71 drivers on the GPD Win 4, the GPD Win Max 2, and that will fail because it's not officially supported. So it'll just, Windows will just say, hey, this driver doesn't work. So then I have to roll back the driver now, thankfully, I can use the preview drivers on this as well, which is what I'm doing right now. But largely, this is just kind of like a PSA to send it out there just so that everyone's kind of aware of the situation of what AMD 7840U and Z1E is right now, because it's a, it's a bit weird. We still don't have official drivers. The Asus RG Ally is basically going to be out for a month officially at this point. Uh, so it's kind of weird overall what's going on there. The main reason I'm making this video is that Many people might not be aware that this is actually a thing that is happening. You would consider that I could just take any 7840U preview driver and install it on any AMD 7840U. That is not the case. Uh, so right now, it's kind of hard to get a baseline that has the same driver across all the different versions that are out there. So all benchmarks are kind of have that caveat that's in there. That's pretty much it for this particular video. It was just kind of a PSA that I wanted to make. I uh, hope this was informative. As always, guys, thank you for your time and thanks for watching.